everybody, welcome to GeoGuess, and we have the Strange Lands crew here with Alzareth. Hello. Pastafarian. Greetings. And Talkus. Kyrite. And I am Fixer. Today we have a user submitted challenge. It would be by Reddit user Addicted to Living. So, thank you, sir. I am also. You enjoy your addiction. The seed will be in the description below, so if you guys want to play along with us, Click on the seed and uh, share your score and your comments in the comments below. Indeed. If Indeed. you guys want to make a custom game for us to play, like Addicted to Living did, go to geocenter.com and make that custom map and pick wherever you want in the world. Perhaps not like random islands. islands. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, because that's been done a few times already. And it gets boring after some time, to be honest. Yeah. Interesting places are always cool to look at and to find Absolutely. out where they actually are. And themes, themes are okay too. Just I think we should probably avoid random islands from now on, at least for a while. I like islands. Well, no, we don't could, listen to them. You can picture. mix one in or some, or maybe two, but not uh, five random islands. No, no, in don't the listen of to them. Don't listen to them. Make it five islands, please. <laughs> five islands, just for me. Come on, don't dude, listen please. to five talkers. Islands. He's a no, lunatic. No, we no, only let him no. out of the asylum because he backed us too. So, anyways, because this is an old style, uh, retro style geoguess, that there is no time limits imposed in the game itself but we impose two minutes and we expect you guys to do the same otherwise we consider it cheating and you'll go to hell you'll go to mushroom island am i right no i don't think you're right no there's no okay. mushrooms in hell no 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 it's, it's, it's mushroom island that, that's that's a capitalized hell anyways is everybody ready for round two yes. or round one ready oh my God. round one <laughs> don't question capitalized theology man it's legit three two one go How's everybody doing today? Did I? I mess up the timer? I don't think I did. Alright. So, hey, look at that. We have... We have language right here. Hotel Ninch. Alright, this, this, this seems like German, but I don't know. That would be awfully unfortunate. Pasta getting his, his German, uh... Oh, this is not German. I don't know what that is, but I don't think that's German. I'm going with Belgium for now. Pokohi, free rooms. I don't know where we're at, guys. Um, trios. Okay, how about up here? Toka. Grocery. Liebensmittel? So this place uses English, so Netherlands, I'm going with Netherlands, we got 50 seconds. SK, SK is, is what, Slovakia? Is it? What else could be SK? I think it's Slovakia. I'm going with that. Yeah, I like it. Is that a city name? Is that Sauna? Is that a city name? I don't know. But we're going with it with with, with Slovakia. Hmm. Eleven seconds. I'm pretty I'm pretty good with that guess. I'm Yeah, there's another one, dot SK. Liptal. Time's up! So that was um, a pretty, pretty tough one. I, I didn't recognize the language. I thought for a minute I saw some German, and that my initial uh, guess you did. was there okay. Was, there was some German. That Minch or whatever. I think it was like M I N C H. I don't know. So, I, but then I saw um, other words that definitely weren't German. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go with Belgium and then maybe Netherlands, until I saw a sign that had dot S K on it. So I guess in the middle of Slovakia and got 38-21. How'd you do, Al? I saw the SK thing right after you said time's up, so I didn't guess in there. I guessed in Poland. I got 2,461. Yeah, I considered Poland for a second, too. I just uh, like, there, where are the mountains in Poland? I, yeah. 
I have no idea. Uh, they are more to the south. There is actually ski jumping in uh, Sakopane, which is north of uh, this location. Okay. Okay. Uh, how did you do pasta? So um, my first guess was between the border of Poland, Germany, and the Czech Republic. But then I saw the .sk as well. But uh, the German really put me off. And um, I put it to northern Slovakia because uh, parts of Poland were once um, part of the uh, the Third Reich and even before that be uh, part of Prussia. So I did it in northern Slovakia and got 5,800, uh, no, 5,087 points. There we go. Oh, nice. Dang. Falkus? Um, Falkus also saw the .sk sign, but was not too fortunate in his guessing spot, and got 3,566 points. Well, it's still so inside we Slovakia. So we decent scores. Yeah. Also, I, I like the church you spawned near. It, had a, it was a pretty church. Um, Eastern Europe has some awesome churches. All right, you guys ready for round two? Indeed. Ready. Indeed. Three, two, one, go. All right, so we got round two. People driving on the right side of the road. And we got a bridge up here, which may have some graffiti. It does. And what language this is? Some kind of Russian. So let's go with Kazan. Right there. Kamapa. Take a, I don't know what city that could be. If this is a city name, or it could be that. Let's go down the road and see if we can find something. It's interesting that a, a viewer would, would pick somewhere in Russia. My guess is that, and we've had this happen before, that maybe they're going to pick Kazan because we always talk about Kazan. So that makes it even more likely that I'm going to pick Kazan myself when a viewer submits something Russian. But he could also be screwing with us because you always guess Russia... Oops, did I did I screw up? You always guess Russia in the West and never the East. And I can see someone putting something in the Far East and really confusing everybody. Alright, I don't know what that is. Um... Go. Hotel, Hotel Amadeus. All right, that's dot ru. So we're in Russia. Again, who knows where? All right, there's lots of signs. Oh, oh, there was a, a street sign here. Where is it? Where is it? There was an airport. And I can't read it anyway. Time's up. Well, that was just sheer luck then. Kazan <laughs> would have been closer. So, yeah, exactly. So, um, I don't know. I, I wasn't too sure it was Russia until I got down the road a little bit and finally saw some writing in that, that banner over top. And I thought maybe that, that banner had a, a city name on it, but... Apparently it did. It just was the, a different word than I was expecting. It said October. I was expecting the 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 part in the middle to be the the city name, the T A E, the Taika something. I don't know, but it was the words all the way to the right that looks like it was Samara Kampa, Kamapa or something. I don't know. Anyway, I guessed in Kazan because I figured if this is a viewer submission, it's probably going to be Kazan. So I got <laughs> twenty six fifty seven. So how'd you do, Al? I had the exact opposite intuition. I was like, this is a viewer challenge. It probably isn't Kazan. Because they want to throw we us for a loop. way too often now. Um, I originally was going to guess west of Moscow, but I ended up moving south because the vegetation just didn't seem like northern. So I actually guessed down in that little jut that goes down towards like Georgia and Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, yeah. And I got 2,162. I did consider that someone would want to trick us and pick like Far East Russia, and I, I, I almost wanted to do that, but I, I stayed the course and went Kazan. So, Pasta, how'd you do? Um, I plucked it down somewhere south east of Moscow and got uh, two thousand four hundred fifty-six points. Takas, 
Polkas went down the road and saw a billboard saying FIFA 2018 Candidate City Samara. So Polkas guessed Samara ah. and got 5,463 points. Nice. A very nice Lovely. guess. All right, you guys ready for the next round? Indeed. Ready. Indeed. Three, two, one, go. All right, so Tokus pulled ahead there, but I don't think uh, we're too far behind. I'm not terribly worried. And what do we have here? I don't know what this is. This is Eastern European of some kind. We'll go to Hungary to start out. Oh, I, can I can I not go this way? All right, I can. Uh, Gostinica. I don't know what. Vukojevic. Vukojevic. All right. I'm thinking Poland. All right, let's let's go with Poland for now. Vukojevic. Could that be Germany? Maybe I don't know. But we'll go with Poland for now. Lots of um, lots of vehicles here. Lots of trucks. Maybe this takes us out to a highway. Vukovina. Where is Vukovina? Got forty-five seconds. All right, let's move in a little bit more. I'm not. I'm not terribly confident on on. Poland, guys. I don't know. What's this say? Sava Odra. I don't know what river that would be. I don't know, guys. That's a tough one. I mean, Eastern Europe is about the about the most I can narrow it down to, and even then, you know, who knows? I could be completely wrong about that. Time's up. Oh, it was in Croatia. Oh. Yeah, I did not recognize the the language at all. I thought it's got to be Eastern European of some kind, and I I jumped around from Hungary to Slovakia to Poland, and I, I finally settled on Poland with twenty three thirty. How'd you do, Al? Pretty much the same thing. I, I was hopping all around Europe just in general. It's like this looks European, but I couldn't pinpoint the language, so I got twenty three ten. Guess Poland. Pasta? Uh, I guess Poland as well because I saw a city named Vukovina, which yeah. is actually near this place, got uh, 2,248 points. Yeah, that's what I saw too, and that sounded very Polish to me. Yeah, indeed. Very Polish. And Tokas? So at the very last moment, I saw a uh, .kr domain name, um, and I was like, where in Europe starts with a K? No, I, I didn't know. So I figured that the language looked Eastern European, and um, I'd already at this point heard uh, past to say the word Croatia, so I didn't want to be called a cheater, so I put it down in Slovakia and got 2,652 points. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Ready for the next round? Ready. Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oops, gotta get the timer set. There we go. Okay. Um, I think it's pretty much in the air. All right, so I think we're actually in Poland now. There's a PL right there. Um, I don't know if any one of these would be a city. Maybe not, but pretty sure it's Poland. Uh-oh. There's the EU thing that Pasa talks about. Paulson and Tomes. All right, so let's, um... Let's go with Warsaw to start out. And I, I don't know. I don't know what, what any of the towns look like in Poland. Oh, my. Oh, this was not intended. What the hell? I, I, <laughs> I'm stuck inside this freaking church. All right, here we go. Son of a bitch. Oh, I just want to go down the road. No! Ah. Uh. Oh wow, great. So I'm I'm in an alleyway now. 
Okay, can I go through the alleyway? There we go. And, alright. Wait, this is where I... Uh, so this is, this seems very touristy. Is, is Warsaw the most touristy, uh... Konik? Is there a Konik? We got 30 seconds. No, I don't see a major city named Koenig. And let's see here. Oh my. Holy cow, this is this is everywhere. Alright, so we know it's on a river. Is there a river going for, through Warsaw? Yep. Alright, so let's guess on the river right there. Is there a Koenig nearby? Alright, time's up. So I got my ass stuck inside a church. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I got I was stuck, stuck in there a few times as well. I was stuck wandering the streets. I couldn't get any info from it though. I kept going to like the same. Well, I, I saw I saw a a sign that had .pl on it, so I got Poland out of it. But I couldn't really find anything out. It, it looked very touristy, and there was a river nearby, so I just put it on the river at Warsaw, and I got twenty seven thirty five. How'd you do, El? Pretty much the same thing, except I got twenty-seven eighteen. Pasta. Um. So I saw a um, license plate with the PL on it, so I knew it was Poland. And the look of the city was Hanseatic. So, um, in this, I think fourteenth to sixteenth century, in uh, around the northern and eastern sea, um, you got the Hansa, which were a trade alliance, you could say. And um, the cities at the shore in Poland, so like Gdansk and Szczecin, were part of that. So I picked Gdansk and got 3,933 points. Nice. Well done. Takas? You know, I'm, I'm feeling like the, 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 this challenge might be a bit on the, on the biased side. Maybe. <laughs> it's an Eastern European challenge, I would say. Yeah, it's yeah. themed. So, so I'm like there'd be a someone who lives Slovakia, Croatia, Poland, well, not, not and Moscow Europe, so far. Like near Eastern Europe, like Russia. Oh, is is Eastern Germany considered part of Eastern Europe because the whole like uh, Wall not thing? anymore. Oh well, I, I I'll consider it part of Eastern Europe. I wouldn't there. even call Poland uh, Eastern Europe. Well, um, I call Poland Eastern Europe. Depends on the place um, in Poland. So I saw a license plate with the Polish flag, and I saw the .pl. So I guess middle of Poland and got twenty seven fifty one. Lovely. Okay. okay, then. We all guess around, like, the same amount of points, except for Pasta, who drowns us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got, I think, one more, right? Yes. Yep, one this more. This is our last one. Three, two, one, go. All right, so I don't think I'm going to be in the in the race for this one, but uh, we can still try to get us a, a really nice score. Okay. So we're, we're, we're obviously going to be... I don't want to say obviously. Chances are we're going to still be in Eastern Europe here. All right, this looks awfully familiar. Like awfully familiar. Like we've been here before. I don't know. Okay, so this looks Russian. Let's guess west of Moscow for now. Yeah, I've I've been. I've been in this type of area before, man. I don't think I, I don't think I was with the group when I did it, but hmm. I'm not sure this is this is exactly Russian. I think this is perhaps based on Russian. Oh, that looked Russian. Come on, guys, give me. Yeah, see, that looks Russian. So I can go all out and just put it in the east, like over here. We got 40 seconds left. Is that? Oh no, that's not science. That's a building. Or I can. Um... Here we are. Oh, thanks for the help. Hmm. I think I'm going to go all out and, and, and bank that he put it in the east and hope everybody else guesses west. So I'm either going to come in last or I may come in first. All or nothing. 
I guess we'll see how we do. Time's up. Oh, son of a... All right, so I, I saw the Cyrillic and I thought, you know what? This doesn't look exactly like Russian to me. And, and I even thought, like, it's got to be based off uh, Russian or, or close by or something. And, and we have this Eastern European theme. But then I chickened out and I'm like, okay, it, it should be Russian. And I thought maybe this time it's not in Kazan. Maybe it's in East Russia. So I went with East Russia and got 872. How'd you do, Al? Um, I was originally in Romania, but Romania doesn't have Cyrillic. So, and I didn't, th- I didn't know Bulgaria had it. <laughs> I kind of, uh, I didn't yeah. even think about it. So I ended up guessing over in Russia in Krasnodar. And yeah, mm. I got 2,100 points. Pasta? So I started in Romania as well because I saw one license plate with Romania. Then I saw a domain with BG for Bulgaria. And because it had to be a big city, it could only be one of a few. I picked Plovdiv under the U in Bulgaria, if you zoom in, and got 3,024 points. I did not see a, a URL, damn it. Those those apartment buildings just scream like Romania to me for um, some reason. They pretty much scream Eastern Europe. And because the vegetation is quite southernish, it had to be um, one of the countries near the Black Sea. So at least Romania or more south. Uh, talk us, how'd you do? You know, addicted to life, you could at least like throw out a token in the end, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, it yeah. was a theme challenge, so yeah. Oh, what else is there? Um, I guessed Western Ukraine and got 2,270 points. <laughs> I that think Pasta's going to be our winner today, isn't he? Uh, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. All right. I didn't keep track. Was it? This can't be right. Yes, you are going to win, Pasta. Like obviously, Oxenu. All right. So it says um, I got twelve thousand four hundred and fifteen. How'd you do, L? Eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty-one. Pasta. Sixteen thousand seven hundred forty-eight. And Tokus. Losing by forty-six points. Tokus comes in second with sixteen thousand seven hundred and two. <laughs> oh wow, that is very close. Yeah, I hate you. It's a very close game. Yeah. Indeed, but a uh, nice theme challenge. Yep, if you guys would like to make a challenge for us, go to geosetter.com, make a challenge, post it in the comments below, and uh, we'll add it to our list to play on Fridays. Indeed. Yep, yep. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. The D here is green. I don't know why the D is green. <laughs> <laughs>